This is me having a meltdown. Since 2017, I have had this computer and this is what has edited every single one of my videos and it just died and I am not okay. I woke up this morning and I started getting ready to edit some of the videos to catch up on all the cool things that have happened over the past little bit of me and Riley traveling, then me traveling by myself, and then me traveling with Riley Andy, and me traveling with my dad, and you get the point. And I set it up just like always, went to go plug it in, and it wouldn't charge. And tried to do some other things that it said to do, that it recommended to see if the cord was good, because I've had to replace the cord once before. It's not the cord. So I tried one more thing that Apple recommends you do and a little notification popped up on the screen saying cannot accept charge and it immediately went down again and looked up what that meant and um, in the model that I have that means the computer's dead like dead so what that means is I have to replace the computer not a fun thing to do and I a lot of reasons why that's not a fun thing uh, the first of which being that obviously that's just not great just in general not great um, logic brain says this is a 2017 model computer I've had it since the beginning of my travels seven seven years I've had this thing and um, computers usually don't last that long I'm one of those people who I will use something until I have to replace it. I'm not going to just upgrade every time. I, I don't feel the need to do that. I don't have to keep up with the Joneses. I don't care if people like the unit that I'm using or the phone that I'm using. I am not worried about impressing anyone. I'm just not. I mean, I live in a van. <laughs> um, but that means I'm having to start from scratch which means that everything that I had pre-saved, everything that I had that looked a certain way, everything that I had for color grading, for music, for the effects that I use, every banner, every single thing is gone. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to recover them because they cannot physically recover and transfer off a computer that will not activate. And logic is, that if I took this in to an Apple shop at this point, sure they could fix it, but the Apple Care is no longer active on this, so it would cost me a lot of money. And that wouldn't guarantee that it wouldn't do something else because it's a 2017. So I'm about to go get a new computer and then I'm gonna start from scratch. So videos might be looking a little bit different and it'll be interesting because I don't usually edit in order. In fact, this is how I keep up with all of my videos. I put them in this little thing right here, and then as I finish them, I have a little marker that I use, and it all is in here to help keep me organized. I also have a note on my phone that lets me know the order of how I filmed everything because I filmed so many videos. And, well, there's some dots that are further along that are already finished. And then there's some dots that are kind of in the middle that are not because I don't always edit in order. So videos might be looking a little crazy guys and I'm super sorry if they do. Um, you've probably already seen those videos by now by the time that this video goes out um, or you might've already started to see some of those videos. <sighs> this is not cool. This is like, devastating to me on so many levels because this isn't just hey i'm a van lifer and i do things i do a lot of other things on my computer that you guys don't know about i have news services that i contribute to i have other brands that i work with that i do specific things from my computer and all of that is gone so i'm hoping best case scenario that whenever i go to the store and get a new computer that i can log into my apple account and that those things will just be downloadable and i can maybe recover some of those things um i also keep everything on hard drives because i just do too much volume of stuff and it just bogs down my computer so that is a blessing that means i didn't lose all the files of all the trips <sighs> i did lose some photos 
that were kind of meaningful photos that I probably have backed up, but I don't know where. I also lost all of my formatting for my thumbnails. And I know this is a really complainy sounding video and that's not what I normally do, but I always share the good, the bad, and the ugly, and this is part of it. And because a lot of you guys want to do YouTube and things like that, this is something to think about. <laughs> I don't encourage you to ever just leave everything on your computer for this reason. I never wanted to get to this point, but now that I am, I am so grateful that I started using hard drives. Now here's the other challenge though. The new laptops do not all have USB. They're moving over to the USB-C. So I have a couple of cords that I think will make my hard drives compatible. Crossing my fingers on that too. Otherwise I'm gonna to have to get some kind of adapter. Uh, my mouse, also USB. Don't know how that's gonna work out. I don't know if I can get an adapter for it, but I have to use this mouse because this mouse is specific to what I do. Um, it's a gaming mouse, but it's great for graphic design. And so I definitely want to use this one. It gives me better tracking and better capabilities. And yeah, I've been working in graphic design for a long, long time. And I learned a long time ago that cordless mice just don't do as well. So with that said, I'm about to run to the store and have a meltdown along the way probably, but yay. <laughs> Welcome to being a YouTuber. A lot of you guys have asked me about YouTube tips and things like that, and I am still working on a video for that so I can give you a wide range of knowledge, but this is reality. Fun times. <laughs> At least now I'm laughing a little bit, even if the laughter is nervous laughter. This morning, whenever I first discovered this, it was not the same feeling. It was a very different vibe. It was like a, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then I called my parents and I was like, I'm having the worst morning ever. And this is on top of the things that just literally happened with my dad's van. So he had the worst day ever. I'm having the worst day ever. We could be done with worst days. But I'm off to the Best Buy because that's the closest location that I can find a new MacBook. Oh, breathe, woosa, wish me luck. Ah. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's try this one last time, just for, for funsies sake, okay? See, it turns green, that's good, that's good. Then it goes red. The red is the problem. And then it, it just won't do anything after that. I have over a thousand videos on my channel and almost all of them are edited on this. Um, not all of them. There's a few that were edited on my first MacBook that I had whenever I first started out, but most of my videos are edited on this MacBook. So it's a uh, changing of the guard. And I'm a sentimental person, so that makes me kind of sad. But there's promise of new adventures to be had and new editing styles to be established based on faster computers. So. Here we go. I need to zip this guy back up. Where's the zipper? There it is. Oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. And, oh, I'm ready now. I gotta go lock up everything and uh, drive down to my parents and I think my dad's gonna go with me. I don't know if my mom is. I have been having a doozy of a time. My goal today was to get everything taken care of on my laptop. I was gonna start editing and I was gonna work on my porch today because I came home and realized it needed a little bit of maintenance. That's gonna have to wait now. But there is going to be positive in this and I keep trying to find the positive. You know, a long time ago, somebody told me that if you shift your mindset and learn to find the positives, even in the negative times, that you are more likely to have a happy life be less stressed and realizing that there are things you can't control is so valuable because if it's out of your hands and you can't do anything about it, then why are you stressing about it? Because you literally can't change it. And so I've lived by that for the most part this entire time I've traveled and it has been so helpful, but doesn't make it any less, oh, whenever something does happen. But instead of focusing on it and dwelling on it, what you do is you soak it in, take a breath, and then you move forward and then you look at the things that are beneficial of the situation. For example, really upsetting to spend 
time, energy, effort, and have to start over again. It's a great equalizer, super great equalizer. However, the computer will be faster. It will have more memory. It will bring me into the new age of technology and I won't have to upgrade again, hopefully for seven years. So that's positive. Another positive is again, I started out this journey remembering that I needed to use hard drives. And those hard drives right now are my saving grace. So is this terrible? Yeah, absolutely terrible. Really bad, gross, Ugh. worst case scenario. But did I lose everything? No. Whew. So with that said, I'm gonna go on a little adventure. This isn't the kind of adventure path that I wanted to be on today. <laughs> I wanted to be on the editing path where I was cranking them out, getting them ready, but life doesn't always listen to what we want. Sometimes it gives us what we need instead of what we want, and we might not see it at that moment, and I'm just trying to find the bright side in this because I know ultimately this isn't a terrible thing because it is something that can be rectified and fixed. Okay, here we go. Just driving down to my parents. Another positive? I was already home at least, so... At least if this disaster happened, I had some support along the way to make me not feel so bad. And the irony of all irony is, is as much as I freaked out earlier, my dad brought to my attention that I told him the other day, take a deep breath, there's nothing we can do. And so he uh, was the one who told me that whenever I was stressed out earlier in life. And so I told him that. So he got to tell me that again today. It's the best piece of advice though. Realistically, you can't change things. Even if you want to, you can't do it. There's no time machine. There's nothing that can transport you magically. So we just have to roll with what life gives us. And sometimes that is a hard roll. Some time has passed. It's now like four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm back. And I have a new laptop. Now I'm back in my van, gonna go back to my house and see if I can't get all this taken care of. I'm hoping that I can just log onto my account and it'll do what it's supposed to do, but I gotta put it on some Wi-Fi to find out, so. <sighs> you know, all things happen for a reason, and when Dad's van broke down, it was horrible and it was stressful, and it still is, but at the same time, it put us in line for this to be in a better, more convenient place. If I hadn't have been traveling with Dad, he would have been up there all alone, so because I was with him, I was able to get him home. And it just goes to show that life hands you some weird stuff sometimes. And you know, I'm getting kicked in the teeth right now, but I could be really upset or I could just be like very thankful that my dad's safe, I'm safe, my laptop has been replaced. I'm hoping that everything turns out well and I guess we'll see. Okay, in the house we go, and I have so much work to do out here, but that's not for here or there. I need to unlock my door, great. You know how sometimes you get super excited about something and then you just get ahead of yourself? That's what just happened. The stress of my day caught up to me. I kind of went a little cuckoo, cuckoo for a second and forgot to unlock my house. Shoes off, ooh, toes are breathing, feeling better because it's really warm. Another super great positive that I can find from today because again, I just keep validating existence through the positives. And another thing that has happened is when I returned back to Texas, it was nice and green and pretty. And I like it whenever it's nice and green and pretty. It hasn't gotten to the point yet, 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 because I'm, I'm realist, uh, where it's turned everything brown. So there's flowers everywhere. and. At nighttime, it feels nice and cool and wonderful. And so there's so much to be thankful for in this world. There really is. And so I think I'm just gonna be thankful. Yeah, I know this is a weird video. The last couple of videos have been really weird videos, but I like to keep you guys informed as to what's going on in my regular life because a lot of you just genuinely enjoy seeing what my life looks like. And I appreciate you guys a lot because you're not just here for the travel, you're not just here for the van, you're here because you actually like me and I am so grateful for each of you. <sighs> With that said, I'm gonna get comfy. Oh my gosh, I just changed and I literally thought I was losing my mind, literally thought I was losing my mind. And I think it's just because I'm super stressed. So my laptop came in a box. Let me just show you. Came in this box right here. Cool, cool. I'd already taken it out, put it right here. No big deal. See that box on top though? Um, I couldn't find it. Um, I looked everywhere. 
it was really stressing me out. Come to find out, uh, I need an adapter now for my mouse because of the kind of mouse that I have. So I got the adapter. Cool, cool, fine. Brought everything in, set it down in the chair. I moved everything out of the chair so that I could make sure it was in a good place. And I was gonna put it on the desk, no problem. Got the MacBook out, awesome. Everything was good, in theory. Um, somewhere along the line, I couldn't find this. You know, this isn't a small item. I mean, it's not big, but it's not small. Uh, couldn't find it. So I started panicking. I went and retraced all my steps. I changed, I went and looked under the clothes that I'd just taken off. I went and looked in the refrigerator. I know, I know, weird. But I had put my groceries up, so I thought, okay, well maybe I put it by accident because I was holding it and my mind is just clearly not good today. Um, it wasn't there. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna call my parents. I rode with them in their car. So I was like, can you please look in the back of your car? Maybe I left it in there. And my dad hadn't called me back yet and I started just like rummaging through things. I found it, I found it. Today's been a wild day. I need tomorrow to be better. I now have all of the things to make the, the computer work correctly. <laughs> oh, some days you are the dog, some days you're the hydrant. I am definitely having a hydrant diet today. So I'm now into the download stage. For those who have been wondering, I use Final Cut Pro. Unfortunately, because my Final Cut Pro was completely full, this is going to take a minute. What I mean by full, I was literally going to log on this morning and go dump all my files because I shoot content using several cameras. Some of my cameras shoot very big content. And so like a normal file from a cell phone might be like hmm, this big, but from my like 360 camera, it's like this big. <laughs> so I probably had 20 or so gigs of things that were just like hanging out in storage on there, if not more. Um, in addition to the regular program and also all of the effects and things like that. I am hoping, crossing my fingers, that by it saying that this file is so big that it saved all of those. I'm hoping that if it did, that I will be able to just like sit here for who knows how long and it will download. But in the meantime, this is a lesson learned that it's just going to be slow. So I'm just gonna hang out. I'm probably gonna cook some dinner. I still have to do another download. I have to download Google Chrome. I have to download a program that I use for YouTube uh, just for like analytics and stuff. I have to download an update to the actual computer because by the time that it got to me from the place, from like the manufacturer, they've updated the actual operating system a little bit. So I'm gonna be sitting here probably well into the night, which is fine. At least it's going okay. But this is how I'm gonna be spending my evening. How are you guys spending yours? Leave it in the comments below. But another positive is I'm getting this done. So by the time that I do get to hit the road again, I will be fully updated and running much faster than before. I will start to put together a little bit more of that YouTube video for you guys so you can understand some of the things that I was just talking about a little bit more in depth if you are interested in doing YouTube. I think that it's a great way for you just to keep up with what you're doing and show people like even if it's just your family members kind of your adventures and we all have something interesting to say that we can all gain some knowledge from. I like to do content with brain wrinkles for example but what is your content? What are you interested in? What might you be talking about? Do you like cooking? Do you like travel? Do you like van life? Do you have a hobby that's really cool? Do you want to go around and share special places? It can be just about anything. And that's the nice thing about YouTube. There's literally millions of channels out there and some of them are bigger than others and some of the subjects are more popular than others. For me, it's never been about having the biggest channel or the most popular channel. It's been about sharing my joy for life and hoping to encourage others to get out there and live life more fully. Some days though, this kind of stuff happens. And I just wanted to kind of give this to you guys as like a, oh no, bad things are happening again. But as you can see, I'm keeping optimistic and I'll be fine. And now that everything is at least on the downstretch, I can take a breath. <laughs> Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I am hoping the next video I put out is back to normal. 
normal content, travel stuff, some kind of thing. But we will see what life has to offer. Until next time, guys. Bye.